Right, so the first thing we need to do is have a look at the control panel and see what each function does. In this case, the bottom function is not being used. It's a side shift spool. Uh, the next one up is a fore aft tilt. So we bring the machine towards the tractor and away from the tractor. We have a side tilt function. Have the auger drive control, the hammer up control and hammer on control, and then a tally mask up and down control. So to lift the hammer up, first we need to close off the auger, auger feed tap. We'll put the hammer on function. Once the hammer reaches the top, it'll release this digger locking system, and the auger control can be used to disengage the digger. When the digger's disengaged, as you lower the hammer, the digger will come down into its park position. The telescopic function will move the inner frame up another metre from the standard height. So that means when we take the hammer to the top, we can now get an 11 foot post in. We can also supply auger extensions to make the auger longer so as we can get a deeper hole. We need to select an auger that's suitable for the post size that you're using. And lift that collar up and turn it. Place the auger into the chuck. Just turn the collar. That'll keep the pin in. We need to level the machine up before we start drilling. And using the auger feed tap, we lower the auger down to the ground. And then operate the auger control, auger forwards. And release the tap to allow the auger to work its way into the ground. While we're drilling with the auger, if we need a little bit more downwards pressure, we can then use the hammer function. If you feather the hammer function, that'll put some downwards pressure on the auger if it gets going a little bit tough. To lift the auger out of the ground, we need to turn the auger feed tap all the way in the clockwise direction. Raise the hammer. And then disengage the auger with the auger control. And bring the hammer down with the auger feed tap. And then we need to select a post guide ring that's going to be the right size for the post we're using. Better that the post is actually a loose fit in there. You don't want it too tight. It's just designed to guide the top of the post and to hold it in position. Slide the uh, guide ring in and just drop the lock pin down to keep the ring in there. And then lower the hammer down onto the post using the auger feed. Turn the auger feed tap off. When we start hammering, if the post starts to skew off one direction or the other, we can then use the tilt controls to keep the post level. So when we ha uh, lower the hammer down onto the post, we use the auger feed control, and that'll start to push the anvil up into the hammer. Once all the weight's down onto the post, you can close the auger control completely off. And then we use the hammer function. When we use the hammer function, that'll cause a few things to happen. But firstly, it'll put downwards pressure on top of the post. So it may actually start to push the post into the ground before it starts hammering. The next thing it does, it puts oil up to the hammer, so as the hammer, once the anvil is pushed up into the hammer, that will activate the piston in the hammer, and the oil flow through the hammer will cause the hammer to precipitate. Uh, the other thing that will happen when we use the hammer control, it will bring the downforce arms up against the lower links on the tractor, and that will cause the tractor's weight to hold the machine down on the ground. The amount of weight that we're putting down onto the post is controlled by the downforce tap. The further the downforce tap is in, the better it will work. 
So that's actually creating more downforce on the post, therefore trying to push the post into the ground harder. The reason the downforce tap is there is in some cases, on some different tractors, the machine may tend to lift off the ground with that tap screwed all the way in clockwise. So to keep the machine stable on the ground, you just need to back that tap out until the machine stays firmly on the ground while you're hammering. Uh, if in turn the tractor wheels start to lift off the ground while you're hammering, you will also need to decrease the downforce pressure by screwing the downforce tap in the anti-clockwise direction.